Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, we insert a graph in the Google document. It's nice to have a wide selection of tools to present data the way you want. Graphs in Google Docs luckily can be mostly called simple compared to other tools. Yet they are surprisingly advanced if you want them to be like that. But a little note. In this video, I cover narrowly the basics of working with graphs in Google Docs, allowing you to create simple charts and not really focusing on the advanced functionality. To start, in the document, put the mouse cursor where you want your chart to appear. Then we go to Insert, dragging the mouse pointer down to the Chart item, and in the new menu among these four, select the one you like to start from. I'll do the column graph. Wait in a bit. And here you have it in your doc, with the notification on the bottom left, suggesting to edit it in a Google Sheets. Since working with charts in Google Docs is actually realized through Google Sheets. With all the controls there. And that's what we are heading for. So press on your graph, go to its top right corner, click on this little arrow symbol and press open source. Now we are on the new Google Sheets document, created specifically for editing this chart. Let's scroll up to locate the values in this graph. And here they are, which are corresponding to values in the graph itself. Meaning that by modifying these values, the data on a chart is updated respectively. Let me show you how that works. Team 3 has the lowest score in the first period, just 12. Let's increase that to 90 and apply. As you just saw, the bar in period 1 for Team 3 instantly increased in height reaching the level of the Team 1. And basically, this is how the whole thing works. But that's only the beginning. Then you can change the name of the columns, which will make a change in the graph as well. So as the rows. And that's enough to make a simple chart, to select the graph from that you like and then modify the values. Let me show you that in the document. As you can see, the graph remained the same. And here it's just like with the website pages, when you need to update the page to see new changes. So we just press Update button in the top right corner of the chart. And there you go, the new values. What goes next is the real customization. Press twice on the graph and that will open the chart editor menu on the right, which is really nice. Starting from the chart style, so let's press this field. And here you have quite a lot of options. The pie with percent values, the bar, the line chart and you got it. There's a lot to choose from. This field stands for how many columns are in use. And the next one is how many rows are in use. That means that we can make it A1 to D5. And now it will cover a bigger area. A1, D6. That will allow us to create a one more team, Team 5. And set the number of points for them. But as you can see, it didn't do a thing, because we have to indicate that we have created one more bar. So we go back to its settings, going down to Series, and in the Add Series field, we select the period tree. There you go. The data on the graph is updated with the relevant data. And that's how you do it. But then comes the advanced customization on the next page of the chart editor. But that's more about the looks, 
Let me go through a few random ones just to demonstrate. And this makes it. Use it for your own good. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodapps.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.